to House of a Warrior. My name is Lorena Doyle. And let me just start by saying thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed, for everyone who watches my video, who leaves a comment and a like. Please keep doing that. Please keep telling a friend to tell a friend to check me out. I do videos mainly about being a sickler. Yeah, as you all know, I am a sickle cell anemia patient and uh, motherhood and cooking. So if you like this kind of videos, please subscribe and stick around. But for today, I'm going to be talking to you about five tips that will help you prevent a crisis. If you're a warrior, <laughs> that is, or if you know someone who's a warrior and they're always in pain, or you know a parent who has a young one and they don't know what to do, so stick around because these five tips are definitely helpful. They are what has worked for me this far and, you know, they could be a source of encouragement to someone else. So let's get on to the video. Our first one is keep hydrated. Hydration works and everybody will be in your ear about this. Your doctor, your spouse, your parents. My son follows me around with a glass of water every one hour just to make sure I'm hydrated. Yeah, so hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. We cannot sing this enough. This is the number one help. This is this water will help your sickle shaped um, blood cells to keep running, keep swimming in those veins, okay? So that they avoid sticking onto each other and causing a blood clot, which will in turn make you to be in pain. So keep hydrating, it works. Second one, oh, I'm looking down because I have a notebook. Second one is um, rest, get enough rest. Rest, rest, rest. When you're tired, when you can't do it anymore, just take an hour to lie down and recover. Rest, re, um, um, what is it called? Exhaustion. Exhaustion is the number one symptom of sickle cell. So rest, always find time to rest. If you're married and you have kids and you're a stay-at-home mom like me, Always rest. Ask your husband for help. Ask him to take the kids for a walk or something so that you rest your mind as well. You know, just lie down for 10 minutes in peace. It really helps. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Do not exhaust yourself to please someone. At the end of the day, no one will be there with you when your joints are like about to burst out of your body. So always take care of yourself first. And this involves resting. Number three, avoid stress. Uh, remove yourself from situations where we lead you to be stressed and depressed and we do not want that for a sickler. Remove yourself, whether it is a relationship, it is a job, it is schoolwork, just, you know, put it aside for a moment, think about it, stay calm, meditate if you want to. Um, just avoid all the sources that bring in stress into your life. I know it is difficult to avoid, especially in this uh, day and age where everything and, you know, everyone is just looking to attack each other. It is very difficult, but as a warrior, guard your space, guard your heart, guard your mind, just guard your all around energy and environment. That really helps, yeah? Number four is pain killers, yeah? And this I will start by saying seek medical advice first, yeah? Make sure your doctor knows what you're taking and what you have at home. So always have your painkillers handy. And it is always nice if you are a grown-up, if you're 18 and above, it helps if you know what medication works for you, especially for pain. It really does. So know what works for you and have it handy, yeah? Um... I I do not when uh, I don't know how to say this but let's say you're in Nairobi yeah, and your pain is traveling it's coming towards you before it gets to Nakuru sis pop in a pain med like that really helps take a pain med when you're 
pain is between a level 1 and a level 4. Do not let it get to 10, where 10 is now severe pain. Do not let it get there. Take your pain meds early enough. That will like at least even lower the amount of pain you're in. Yeah, it will help a great deal. Popping always... Always, even in hospital, when, okay, when, okay, um, you can't help it and you end up in hospital because of a crisis, it helps if those doctors know what to work for you. Tell them uh, tramadol is my go-to. Tell them morphine is my go-to. Tell them whatever it is that you like, that your body responds to. It's good if you know that, yeah? So that was number, number four. I go on to the last fifth tip, and this is God. Man, you guys, I cannot tell you this enough. Prayer works. Prayer and affirmations. Like, affirm yourself. Encourage yourself. I'm talking about affirmations that you speak to yourself. Do not let someone else come in the room and be like, oh, Lauren, you'll be okay. You're strong. No. That is good if you have that kind of support system. It's, it's excellent. But I'm talking about affirmations that you tell yourself. Mm? encourage yourself remind yourself how strong you are um pray yeah and um uh, i read someone today that it is good if you invite god into your difficulties like let him deal with that yeah and you can only achieve that if you talk to him and talking to god is what is called prayer yeah i listen a lot to sarah sarah jakes roberts she is T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jakes' daughter. Do I say T.D. Jakes? She's T.D. Jakes' daughter, and she's a minister. And in one of her sermons, she was talking to me and telling me, it is fine, it is good if you have beef with God. Yeah, he likes that. He thrives on that. If, if you will grab his attention in that way, and he will listen to you so it is good in those times in those times of turmoil in those times of pain like be at beef with god ask him why me why now you probably had an exam the next day or a job interview or you were planning to travel to go somewhere else and let me tell you a crisis will come when you've made plans any plans that <laughs> you cannot even take back or cancel or whatever no that is when a crisis will visit you. So ask God, why now of all the times, you know? And uh, Sarah is a minister that mostly speaks to women, and she's very encouraging. So if you do not have a go-to person to always go to and listen to and just uplift your spirit, I suggest you listen to Sarah. She's very nice. But anyway, that was uh, five of my tips to prevent a crisis and i know the fifth one is more spiritual than it is medical and i know not everyone is a christian and not everyone probably believes in god so that one is an optional you could uh, possibly substitute number five with maybe a healthy diet yeah it's a lot of fruits eat a lot of veggies like just um eat stuff that will boost your immune system yeah so those are my tips um thank you so much for coming back to watch another video always please subscribe hit a like on this video especially and uh, keep telling your friends to come check us out let's help fill this house up um anyway that's all i had for you today i'll see you next time bye